entering third grade. Happy Thursday. Today is our schedule for Thursday, May 7th. Can't believe we're already a week into May. It's the year is flying by third grade. So today for um, your spirit week, it's throwback Thursday. So you are submitting an older picture of you or dressed up in your favorite era. So if you wanted to dress like you were in the 70s or the 60s, um, that can be your option for throwback Thursday. For fluency, you are going to continue your reading. Um, remember, you are keeping track of your daily words each day. And then on Friday, you will submit it. Um, for math, continuing to work on that fluency for multiplication and division. Um, for iReady, you are passing two lessons this week. Then for reading, you are listening to The Kissing Hand um, through my video, or you can read it on Epic. And your reader's response question is, in this story, Chester's mom demonstrates the choose love ingredients. Which ingredient do you think she showed the most? So think about all of the choose love ingredients that we have, and maybe you want to do more than one. Um, but you are going to explain how you know that that is the ingredient um, that Chester's mom was showing. Um, if you are doing the offline activity, you're just reading for your own story. And your question is, what lesson did the main character in the story learn? And support your reasoning from the text. Um, so almost in every single story, there is a lesson to learn. So what was the lesson that, and maybe because you only read for a short period of time, maybe you didn't get to the lesson. So maybe you want to talk about an earlier part of the story that you had already read. Um, or maybe you can make a prediction on what that character will learn. Um, for writing, you guys are going to be doing your acrostic poems. Um, I've already seen some amazing cross acrostic poems, and I hope you guys give them to your mom for Mother's Day. Sorry, why was huffing and puffing? He made a lot of noise right there. Um, so remember that each of each one of the letters that it needs to be written in a complete sentence. So third grade, this was great. You can always color it and add more detail to it um, to be able to give it to your mom. Um, and your second option was just writing that funny story um, to also read to your mom or auntie or grandma or whoever you would like to on Mother's Day. Um, and then make sure that you are including all of these. So far this week, I've only seen poetry. I haven't seen any of these narrative writings. But remember, you only have to pick one. You don't have to do both. So now for I Ready Math, you are passing two lessons this week. Um, you have no IXL today, and your word problem of the day is the dance floor has a perimeter of 24 square meters. Write all the possible dimensions of the dance floor. So if you think about a dance floor, it doesn't say if it's a square or a rectangle, but what are the different combinations that it could be? Remember, perimeter is adding up all the different sides on it, okay? Um, and it says write all of the dimensions. Um, then your last thing that we have is your inheritance, um, and that is where you are drawing the picture of your mom and you are adding the physical traits all the way around the picture. Um, I can't wait to see these. I am so excited um, and I'm very much certain that your mom will love it too. Um, don't forget that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week, we will have our class meetings. We will do those every day at 1245 to 130. Wednesday's schedule is going to be a math activity, Thursday's is going to be a reading activity, and Friday is going to be going over our schedule for the next week and then doing an art activity together. So third grade, have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you are enjoying being able to do Spirit Week and submitting all your photos. Um, I will see you guys here in a little bit because we have our class call in a couple hours. So by third grade, have a great day.